Nano Augmentation, Pipe Dream or Theory for the Future by Hugh Darrow. Excerpt from a paper in Neo Nature, September 2022. We've been throwing around the word nanotechnology for decades, and yet despite all of our best efforts, we are only inching closer to that molecular... Blech, molecular, I can't even pronounce it properly, molecular scale, close enough, frontier, <laughs> when in fact we should be racing toward it. In the decade to come, the enhanced beings, post-humans, who are our progeny, will look at the mechanical devices we rudely bolted on to our living flesh or buried inside our gray matter and they will mock us for our crudity. They will look upon what we have made with the same curiosity, the same disinterest, as the pilot of a VTOL helicopter would look upon an ox cart. The future of the human augmentation lies in the small, in fact, the smallest. In the next 30 years, the molecular God damn it. frontier <laughs> will be broken, and true nano nanoscalar reprogramming and biological reorientation will be possible. There will be no more tedious instances of severing limbs to replace them with steel proxies. We will drink these tiny machines, inject them, and be transformed. Synthetic thought, the human AI. Can a machine think like a man? Since the late 90s, the scientific community's attempts to construct what one might call a biocomputer system have evolved from pure science fiction to a viable and very real research endeavor. Consider a biomatter device with the capacity to repair itself, to re to reprogram itself, perhaps even at some advanced levels of complexity to modify its own structure to better perform its assigned tasking. The ongoing maturation of nanobiotechnology has opened the gateway to the construction of nanoscale systems, utilizing biological, biologically delivered or derived uh, components merging organic interfaces with the processing capacity of traditionally derived computer architecture. Pioneering designs already exist using patterned variations built on the brain structure of minor phylum rodentia and canines and the potential for a human scale iteration of this technology is not only possible but if successful may represent a radical evolution in thinking systems test subject revealed no statistically significant changes in glial tissue buildup and subsequent degeneration hey tiff quite the house <gasps> of horrors you got here doc you letting anyone in or just women who are you how'd you get down here this is a restricted area Obviously. You wouldn't want the rank and file knowing what kind of sick experimentation is going on down here. No, you, you don't understand. I'm not... Where's Burke? And your research partner, Savage? B Burke went back up to the base. And Gary... Gary left. Told me to be smart, keep my mouth shut, and do whatever Burke tells me to do. For now. For now? I heard the three of you talking up there in the morgue. Sounded like you don't exactly fit in here, Dr... Uh... Kavanagh. And who the fuck are you? The name's Jensen. I came here looking for someone. Megan Reed. Reed? I I've seen her research. Gary thinks it could be the key we're missing. If she can be convinced to come here. Megan Reed was kidnapped, Kavanaugh. Violently. As was her entire scientific team and the dozens of women you've been torturing down here. No! You, you don't understand. I'm trying to save them. Gary and I, we were sent here to put the OCM project back on track. It wasn't until we got here that we realized what that meant, and by then... By then, it was too late. Tell me more. OCM. Savage used that term in the morgue. What does it mean? Organic Computational Matrix. It's a means of cross-connecting living brain tissue and artificial intelligence systems to create a supercomputer of unparalleled capability. Part flesh, part silicon. That's what you're doing down here, turning prisoners into computer parts. Human brain activity has to be integrated with the technology or else it won't work. Even DARPA knew that. DARPA? 
What does DARPA have to do with this? Nothing. Not directly. In 2007, they started looking for research partners to help develop an artificial cognitive science program that could increase a soldier's situational awareness in the field. A number of private sector companies submitted proposals. Bell Tower being one of them? No. Bell Tower was a private military corporation. DARPA wanted researchers. But one of the companies who did submit something was a biotech corporation that deals with Bell Tower. And they believed a successful program could be designed if it could be wired directly into the soldiers' brains. DARPA wasn't willing to go that far. So this biotech company took the idea to Bell Tower? A corporation that, being privately funded, doesn't have to concern itself with political or ethical debate. That's bullshit. So how many prisoners went into this? Just how many prisoners are being wired into this thing? I... I don't know. But a lot of them don't seem to survive for more than a year. I've told the others there's no way this project can stay viable with these kinds of numbers. But the OCM computers have to have them to work. Computers? You mean there's more than one of them? There's... several. This is just where the process starts. The factory floor. We select the candidates here, implant them, and ship them to the other locations. It's all very efficient. Yeah, except your candidates keep dying. So, uh, tell me about Megan's research and why you think it's important. You seem to think Megan's research is integral to salvaging this project of yours. Why? It's not my project. Had I known before I came here... Right, just answer the question. <sighs> We're experiencing cross-systemic failures with the tech. Over time, subjects implanted with OCM augmentations suffer complete neurological breakdown. They... they pretty much burn up from the inside. Gary thinks it's a problem with the acceptance of the PDOT array. I've heard that phrase before. It's the building block of modern neuro-augmentations. Dr. Reed's been reshaping it, changing the way it bonds with living tissue. The mutagenic gene combination she's introduced into it, well, frankly, it's astonishing. Enough to warrant her kidnapping? So she'd be forced to work on this project with you? She's not on this project. I don't know what she's doing or where she is. This is the first time anyone's ever mentioned kidnapping. So you really think you can justify this? You're really gonna stand there and try to justify your role in this, aren't you? People are being enslaved, Kavanaugh. Enslaved and crucified. It, it wasn't like that at first. I thought we were gonna make a difference, do something incredible for the world. Right. And look how incredible it turned out to be. But you can still make a difference, Doctor. You can help me blow the lid off this place. Are you insane? I, I can't. There's too much money invested in this. Burke, the people I work for, they'll kill me. They'll hunt me down and kill me. I know people who can protect you, hide you. Interpol is just waiting for evidence to tear Bell Tower apart. It's not just Bell Tower. Oh, God. Oh, God, am I really going to do this? <sighs> you... You can't get me out through the prison. Burke would stop us. Then we'll have to do what Savage did. Take a submersible. We can't. The hatches to all the docking hangers are locked tight. The only way to unlock them is by using the security console in the prison command tower. But keeps an eye on us that way. Then I'll have to go back up there and unlock it. Well, you gather as much evidence as you can carry. Oh my god. I'm really gonna do this. Damn right you are. Now get moving. I'll contact you when I unlock the hatch. All right. Fine. But Mr. Jensen, please, hurry. All right. That shouldn't be too uh, difficult to do. We just need to go back again through um, the things that are going to take five years. Awesome. And we have to go up the uh, the bathosphere over here. Keitner, contact Interpol. We need rendezvous coordinates for a deep sea submersible. A what? What exactly have you found, Jensen? A research complex hidden beneath this base. One of its staff is willing to turn whistleblower, if we can deliver her to Interpol using one of the lab's transport subs. Which explains why you need the coordinates. I'll see what I can do. Keitner out. Okay. Let's get up here. Faster, please. Is there, is there a speed dial on this thing? Now we're almost there anyway. Keitner, what the hell's going on? The elevator stopped. Burke, 
must have intercepted our comms. Get the hell out of there, Jensen. I'll meet you. Oh. Hello. Thought I saw some boxes outside of this elevator, and I was wondering what those might be for. Apparently, it is for uh, getting up without the elevator. I probably won't need to do it the way you're supposed to because I've got my high jump boots on. Yeah, I bet you, you need to get that box over here if you don't have the ability to jump high. Uh oh. Someone's alarmed. They must be, uh opening the elevator down there or something. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's see. Is there anything down here before I continue on? I guess not. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything interesting behind those. It just looks like that's a way out. Um, yeah, okay. Let's get out of here. Looks like there was three guys waiting at the elevator there. Good thing the elevator stopped. That would have been uh, shot at by a whole bunch of people all at once. What is going on over here? Ooh. EMP and gas. Very nice. Come on. Hey guys. How you doing? Good? Bad? Ugly? Hello? What's this? Ammunition case. I'll take that. Anything else in here? Not that I can see. Ooh. Is that something? No. It's just a box. It's just a box. You guys do look kind of, uh... Similar to some other people. Got lead in the air. On it. Open oh. <laughs> Silly me. I should have used something with more bullets. Or, you know, even better, something with fewer bullets. <laughs> oh, yeah. That felt good. All right, let's get that off of you. I'll take that. What do you got? Oh, some pistol ammo. That's cool. Also, did I reload this thing? Yes, it's reloaded. Okay, cool. Okay, is there anything else here worth grabbing? Just some typhoon ammo, which I don't care about. Probably nothing up here still. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's get a move on. Aw, they took her. She's not here anymore. Sorry, Nikki. Nina? I guess her name wasn't Nicole. Gas disposal? Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Recognized. Damn right I am. Granted. Been waiting. Keitner! We really broke open a hornet's nest, didn't we, Jensen? It's bad. You need a medic. <laughs> yeah, I'll get right on that. Got those coordinates, Jensen. But Burke figured it out. Seized control of the station and locked down the detention camp. Bastard's cleaning house. I've got to get Kavanaugh out. Can't. 
Not until you stop the gas. What gas? Burks enacted a scorched earth protocol to stop the truth from getting out. Poison gas in every cell. Lab two. Unless you stop it. Stay with me, Keitner. There's a circuit board underneath the prison command tower. It directs the flow. Everything's connected, but might be able to redirect. A whistleblower has to live, Jensen. Only sure way. We stop this. Keitner. Keitner. Hmm. So she was talking about something being under the tower. I kind of wonder if that's uh, what I found earlier. That gas looking thing. It was like uh, one of the bombs from earlier. You guys are going your separate ways. Hold on. Is he coming back this way? Yes, he is. Wait for it. Dang it. Snipers, huh? Looks like there's a guy over there. I don't know if anyone heard that, but I'm going to drag this guy away, just in case. Uh oh. It sounds like he may have heard that. Is there a certain amount of time that I've got before uh, bad things happen? Looks like that guy is coming around. Hmm. Hostile in the air. Ah. Someone went invisible. Oh, there is a timer right there. Don't worry, guys. You don't need to know where I am. Not important. I may actually switch for one of these sniper rifles. Let's see, what do I got in my inventory? Thought I could get rid of. It's too bad I can't... Wait, do I have a Praxis left? No, I don't. Not for a while yet. But I am going to pick up this sniper rifle for a minute. At the very least. No. That's not what I want. You go here. You go into my inventory. Got any ammo? Yes, you do. Looks like uh, this takes three bullets only. Where'd he go? I still can't take that. Do you? 